Hello, I'm Alex Boischwenger from the education team at Jamie, the mental health service for the Jewish community. And I'm here with James Harris, president of the Union of Jewish Students, for a conversation to mark University Mental Health Day 2021. James, thanks so much for joining me to talk about this really important event. What do you think is the particular significance of University Mental Health Day this year? So firstly, Alex, thank you very much for, for having me on. Um, this year, mental health has really come to so much of, it's come to the forefront of our discussions given the ramifications of the pandemic. And it's no secret that men, the mental health of young people has suffered tremendously throughout the last year. Uh, in fact, an online, uh, an ONS survey uh, revealed that 70% of British students said that their mental health had suffered uh, during the coronavirus pandemic, according. Uh, and, and over a fifth actually described their mental health uh, as having become much worse. And so th this really, as I say, has brought to the forefront the importance of University Mental Health Day and raising awareness of mental health and well-being for students and young people in general. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Those statistics, you know, are very stark, aren't they? It really is a majority of people uh, that, that have really felt the negative impact from this time. Um, how is the situation different for Jewish students compared to the general student population? Uh, is there anything that makes it harder for Jewish students? Is there anything that might make it easier? So, I mean, Jewish students, it's important, obviously, just to, it has to be said, unfortunately, but Jewish students are students uh, as well. And so due to being students, they face some similar issues to the general student population. Uh, and then I guess there's the certain ca the caveat and the addition of having specific needs being uh, Jewish that universities do need to address. Uh, things like Shabbat and festival observance and adherence to Kashrut, and of course, uh, facing incidents of anti-Semitism on campus. And all of these things, uh, and other issues as well, uh, need, uh, really are considerations for Jewish students and all have some sort of mental, uh, mental health uh, impact, mental health ramification for students as well. Thank you. So what messages would you like to share with Jewish students today? So my message to Jewish students today is that whether you're feeling angry, lonely, isolated, or just bored, um, all of these emotions are totally justified and understandable in response to the current situation. And one of the most important things uh, that can be done to improve your mental health and well-being is to take care of yourself and take care of others. And you know, what I really want to just reiterate is self-care is crucial to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. And for me, it's turning my phone off for a couple of hours every day. For other people, it might be going for a walk or reading every day. But the key is you need to work out for you what things in life help you to take care of yourself. Uh, but also, crucial, crucially, I think it's important to, to obviously note that, that UJS and I know Jamie as well, are here for you if you're ever suffering from poor mental health. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, on that self-care point, as you say, it is different for everybody and it is about finding what works for you. I, you mentioned going for a walk. I know that's been a really important one for me personally. And like, particularly when you're working from home, you know, as we both are and as, uh, as every student in the country is doing, it's, you know, it's so important to have, breaks and to have just boundaries between your working life and the rest of your life so that it doesn't just completely uh, absorb your whole day. Definitely, completely agree. Uh, and I think, as I said, it's really about you finding what, what works for you. Uh, and there's no hard and fast rule. There's no uh, specific prescription for this. It really is just about finding, finding for yourself. Um, yeah, and obviously there are other people around you to support to support you in doing that. Yeah, yeah. And you mentioned about, you know, all of the emotions that people might be experiencing. Like, it's obviously really important to, to recognise those and understand them. And, uh, you know, we actually did a collaboration recently between Jamie and UJS uh, about burnout and self-care. 
Um, could you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so I, I guess for, for any, anyone, uh, really, I, I guess this does apply to anyone supporting Jewish students as well as Jewish students themselves. Uh, for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, I'd really highly, highly encourage uh, you to watch the uh, UJS and Jamie collaboration event on uh, a student guide to burnout and self-care. Uh, as you said, Alex, this was, uh, I think, a really, really useful tool uh, to, you know, figure out what young people are going through at the moment, what students are going through, especially uh, why the pandemic has, has brought on these challenges and really ha how, you know, uh, individual young people, individual students can be uh, working towards improving their mental health uh, and the mental health of others as well. Uh, because, of course, we're not just uh, living individual lives at the moment. We are uh, as much as possible trying to keep in constant uh, communication and constant contact with those around us, even if we're not physically close. Um, yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's so, so important. You're absolutely right. So if anybody watches that video and thinks, you know, oh my gosh, you know, yeah, that actually really speaks to me. I am experiencing some, you know, feelings of burnout. Uh, where can they, where can they go next? So uh, in the first instance, I, I would really point uh, Jewish students to the UJS website. Uh, we have uh, a page on, on our website for uh, regarding mental health and well-being. We have a traffic light guide that, that you can use if you feel like you're experiencing poor mental health. Uh, and from there, uh, there are resources, there, there are site, there's signposting to Jamie uh, and other organisations as well. Uh, but really, if you are suffering uh, from poor mental health, uh, uh, you know, please, please do get in touch. Uh, and also just to, uh, just as another note as well, and this probably is, is the most important, if, if not, uh, yeah, yeah, I'd say this is an extremely important tool. Uh, there's a brilliant site called Couth Student, uh, which is supported by Jamie. And Couth is an online resource that includes uh, live conversations with trained professionals specific to supporting Jewish students. Uh, and it, again, if you feel like you are experiencing poor mental health, please do take the time to join Couth uh, if you feel like these services will help you. Uh, yeah, that, that would be really my advice. If, if you feel like anything in our burnout session did speak to you, uh, really take the time to look at our website, look at our resources, look at the resources of Jamie and, our, you know, and Couth as well. And, uh, and really, uh, get in touch if, if you need help on that. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Like, as you mentioned, there's so much out there. And what I really like about the UJS traffic light guide is that it shows clearly how many options there are. Um, and, you know, whatever you're feeling, you know, whether you're at the stage where you really feel like you're, you know, you're in crisis and you really want support right now, or if you're actually just in the very early stages of thinking, this isn't great right now, the way that I'm feeling my situation. And I kind of want to, you know, understand it better and to start thinking about it more. Wherever you're at with your mental health, there's something on there that, that will work for you. And so I think that's, that's a great place to start. And yeah, as you said, James, you know, on there, is, is Kuth Student, which is a really fantastic resource. And there's links to, to Jamie as well. Um, you know, we are, yeah, the dedicated mental health service um, for, for, you know, any Jewish person in the UK. Um, and there's all sorts of other places that you can reach out to as well. You know, if you don't feel like going to Jamie or Kuth Student or another Jewish service, that's absolutely fine. You know, there's, there's all kinds of other options as well. It's, it's, important that you just find something that's right for you and you know yeah I think we both really emphasize that it doesn't you know you might think other people have got it so much worse than me right now um, but that's you know it's it's understandable it's normal to think like that but that doesn't mean that you don't also deserve support and to be able to reach out and talk to someone Definitely. And, and I think, you know, Alex, you really hit, hit the nail on the head there uh, in terms of there are so many resources out there. There are so many people 
that want to help, but perhaps the most difficult step is asking for that help. Uh, and, you know, it's just, it just takes you to overcome that step. And, you know, there is a, a world of support out there for you. Absolutely. So, James, you mentioned how the burnout and self-care guide, you know, could be relevant for people supporting Jewish students. Um, is there anything else, any other messages you'd like to give to, you know, universities, student unions, Jewish societies, anybody else supporting Jewish students? So, I mean, my message uh, to university student unions, uh, and as you said, Alex, anyone else really supporting Jewish students uh, is, uh, you know, improve, improve the mental health services. And, and obviously there are universities have mental health provision uh, in place. Uh, but Jewish students, as I said at the beginning, have specific needs that need to be considered. Uh, and I would encourage universities and students unions uh, and, and really other stakeholders as well to engage with their Jewish society, engage with UJS, engage with individual Jewish students if need be, uh, but fundamentally to, to see what Jewish students need on the ground, what support Jewish students need from their university and from their students' union, uh, because it, it, it might not be so clear. Uh, and actually, once you do speak to, to those Jewish students, once you do speak to UJS, uh, those those uh, different issues become far more obvious, and actually, the the path to solving those issues becomes a lot more clear as well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, thank you so much for that. Any final thoughts? Uh, so, just to round off, really, I, I just want to say a huge thank you to Jamie for for the amazing work that they do to support. Uh, Jewish people suffering from poor mental health and, and to reiterate again to anyone watching uh, that we are here for you if you ever need assistance in knowing where to go to improve your mental health and, and well-being uh, you know we are here if you're ever in need of any support or advice please do just take a look at the resources we've talked about in this discussion uh, and get in touch with us if you do need that further guidance. Thanks, James. Yeah, it's I'm really glad that we're able to work together, you know, on this today and on, you know, Jewish student mental health um, all year round. Yeah, you're you're such a valued partner of Jamie and uh, we're really looking forward to continuing our work in the future. Um, links to all the resources that we've mentioned will be in the post uh, alongside this video, wherever you're finding it. And um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.